Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi Virgos, this is going to be timeless. So it really doesn't have a date to it. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, as well as the cross watcher of the Virgo. So let's get right into it. Again, this is timeless. So if it already happened, okay, but something tells me for some of you, this message is currently happening or hasn't happened yet. Very soon. See, that's what I feel. I feel like mm, whatever this is may not have fully either manifested or come through or happened just yet. Virgos. I know a lot of my Virgo people have been saying, do us, do us, do us. And guess what? I unfortunately didn't feel guided to do Virgo until right now. So never never late right everything is always what messages come in divine timing right channeled messages so heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other this like i said may not have happened yet is what i'm feeling stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance you know the thing about virgos is is they're all in their heads down they overthink virgos and libras top two signs to overthink engagement ooh, 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 ooh. your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment that could be what this talk here is about talk of something solid whether it's a job or a relationship love yourself first your romantic your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive sorry i just put on a whole new fresh set of lashes this morning and sometimes because they're glued into their container they get a little like this when you first put them on. So I apologize if one side looks a little off. This left side is looking a little funks. Anyways, there we go. Oh, man, you guys are definitely getting into some kind of commitment. You have the four of wands. And remember, you have engagement. Four wands is marriage or like a committed union or, you know, and whether this is, like I said, business, it could be career. Oh my God, 10 of cups. 10 of cups is happily ever after. It's fairy tale. It's total emotional bliss. Four of swords. This is, it, it's surrendering to it. It's about surrendering the mind. I think the mind is what's going to be the block overthinking it worrying the magician see manifesting it you manifest what you put a lot of thought and and your energy goes to a particular place right that's what manifests things that's law of attraction 101 it's what we think feel and say so if you're really really worried about it not coming and you're worried about the lack and oh my god if i choose wrong you will actually you could manifest it hmm page of cups can I just be honest with you this is you don't even have to worry it's like destined you know she has her eyes closed here and it's almost as if this one cup appears out of nowhere this one blessing or this one opportunity or this one It comes to you. You don't gotta worry. It's like worried about, well, what if I don't do this right? And what if I don't do that? Kang Dangalang, King of Wands, Arizio Sag. It's coming. He, he, they, it comes whether you, it's like the more you chill, the faster it comes. Does that make sense? You know, manifestation is all about, it comes via the path of least resistance. Resistance is this thinking that it's not gonna come or worried about who, why, what, when, where. I think when you completely surrender the mind, that's when it comes. The moon is about Pisces energy, but the moon is also about secrets, illusions. The Ace of Swords. Clarity. This peace of mind. I'm telling you, if you quiet your mind and you just surrender to it, Surrender to the unknown, page of swords, instead of worrying about it, doing research, thinking about it 24 seven. Now, are there times when we must do research and, and make sure something's not 
bad. Well, obviously, right? It's like you got to use discernment. Chariot. Chariot is Cancerian. It's about moving forward. I almost just feel like the more you, st the, the second you stop worrying about it, it manifests quick too. I have a Virgo, so I know how Virgos are. You guys are overanalyzing, right? Always in your heads about things. The Ace of Swords is that peace of mind, clarity. Three of Wands. Then it kind of like the 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 vibration of calmness and peace of mind is what aligns you with the Ten of Cups. Hmm, the sun, oh my god. The sun is the happiest card in the entire deck. It's total pure emotional bliss. It's also truth and clarity. It's like extreme clarity comes when you quiet your mind and then things manifest very, very, very quickly. It's like take a deep breath. Seven of Cups, Confusions. Nine of Pentacles, Single. Someone here may be worried about someone's worried about taking something to the next level. They're worried if they're choosing right. You know, you got the commitment thing, right? Yeah, Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Landed on the chariot, moving forward. This person offers you something, could be commitment, could be an offer of work, something, I don't know, something that puts you into a, a commitment, okay? And this guy goes, okay, come on, so here it is, and then let's move forward. But I feel like they want to move forward quickly. So this would be somebody who maybe wants to get married quickly. Maybe somebody who wants to hire you on the spot or or like it's they don't give you any time to think and you go like um excuse me. I need to think about this 17,000 times and replay it in my head a million times. <laughs> and do the typical Virgo thing. <laughs> Eight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, definitely work for some of you. Oh, mm, you see what it is? Watch when you see it. Sorry, guys. It's the unknown card. Why? Because they don't want you to know. Virgos are highly intuitive. It's almost like their intuition is like they're going, I don't know, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not feeling anything. Well, because it's hidden. Because the moon's there too, right? It's hidden from you. Because if they show it to you, you overanalyze it. You'll ruin it. <laughs> it's like an aqua. We'll do the same thing. Aquarians will ruin the shit by overthinking it. Sea clouds. And they're purposely blocking it from you. It landed on right here. Look. Why can't you see what the outcome is? Because it's a fucking surprise. <laughs> the mountain and the, the gentleman. Gentleman is a younger male. This could be somebody's counterpart. Oh, the mountain is obstacles or challenges or delays. He wants you to respond immediately. Someone wants an answer now. But, and that's why you don't have a chance to do your typical thing of overthinking the shit out of it. Because it's like you don't have time. <laughs> I laugh because it's so funny because as an aqua, I'm, I'm an air sign. I'm always in my head. I can relate. You can't mm. see the clouds is delays. So I almost just feel like someone here could also be delaying this heart to heart conversation, this talk of wanting to know they want they want an answer. I feel like you're delaying it. But I really think if you're seeking answers, you know how you can find answers by stop asking questions, by stop asking for clarity, by just quieting the mind. That's how it comes. That's why meditation works. Meditation is quieting the mind, right? So that what's trying to get to you, you can hear and you can see. Maybe you can't see nothing. Maybe this is blurry because you're too in your head, worrying, thinking, oh my God. Like if something is, looks like crumbs and fuckery already, then obviously you don't entertain it. Something tells me, though, for some of you, this ain't crumbs or fuckery. This is like, 
it's not. But maybe you think it is, or you're worried that it could be. I don't, I think it's a great thing to use discernment and logic and weigh things out. You have to. But you can't overanalyze it, whereas you're ruining it. Someone here needs to give an answer, and they're delaying it. The, the, the offer has been made. That's what it is. The offer has been made. Remain positive. You have two cards here talking about positive thinking. It's all here. I'm telling you. It's all about what we think, feel, and say. Listen to your intuition. And then you have weight. So, so for some of you, you could be delaying this, whatever this is, right? Purposely causing delays. Because something in your gut tells you, no, not the right time. Don't do it. Then if that's the case, don't do it. If someone's pressuring you and saying, now, I want an answer now, and you don't feel equipped or ready to give an answer, then you tell them, too bad, so sad. I don't feel ready to give you a final answer. And I'm going to remain positive that if that's the case, and if I'm being pressured and it feels off in alignment and something about it feels gross, I know it's not for me. So it's about the positive thinking about it of like, okay, fine, whatever. So that's not going to be for me. Well, something else will be more aligned. Because if, if you're being like forced... Yeah, recovery. Recovery talks about healing. Almost done with healing. If you believe. Well, the offer's been made. Now it's up to you to decide whether it's something that you really want or you don't. Whether whether you're being rushed or not. Maybe you're rushing yourself thinking you have to make a choice immediately. And then the overthinking puts you on hold, presses the pause button. That's what does. I don't know, you guys, but for some of you, this is like an amazing offer if you get out of your heads about it. And for some of you, it's not the right offer yet, but that just means you're that much closer, right? Beautiful energy. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you want to book a reading with me, click on the description box of all of my YouTube videos and you can see what I offer. And then shoot me an email with what you want so I know what to invoice you. Um, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions on YouTube. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you guys later, Virgos. Love you.